Hillary falling apart medical device still attached two months after minor injury. Yes, apparently, Hillary broke her toe two months ago, as some of you may have heard. As the UK Daily Mail reports, such injuries would heal in a healthy person in four to six weeks. It's two months, and lo and behold, Hillary is still booted. View image on Twitter. The photo of Clinton in the yellow jack was taken during BBC's The Graham Norton Show back in October, just after her fall. The other photo shows Hillary Ghost playing as a First Order General under the command of Kylo Ren. Oh, wait, sorry, that's her promoting what happened at a stop in Vancouver this week. You'll notice, the boot is still on, well past the amount of time it would normally have taken to heal, at least according to the Daily Mail. She first broke the toe during the British leg of her Magical Misery tour for what happened back in October. I was running down the stairs in heels with a cup of coffee in hand, I was talking over my shoulder and my heel caught and I fell backwards, she said of the accident. I tried to get up and it really hurt. I've broken my toe. I've received excellent care from your excellent health service, she added, referencing Britain's NHS. I sense a subtle plotted for socialized health care there, Hillary. Yeah, because VIPs typically have to wait in the same long lines the everyman stuck in single-payer hell has too. So, what's to blame for the long recovery time? Socialized medicine? It is Britain's NHS, after all. Still, bad as they may be, this is just a broken toe. That's a fairly simple thing to fix. Or, is it something more sinister? Certain websites run by people who clearly haven't refilled their Haldol prescriptions as often as they should have are speculating that the orthopedic boots are actually meant to conceal ankle bracelets because powerful people like Hillary and John McCain have been indicted by the One World Government and the bracelets are necessary for the black helicopters or... Well, actually, here's what one of the commenters at one of the websites peddling this theory had to say, which should clear it all up. America is waking up dot 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 not much is getting by. I know it's not a ankle bracelet for GPS dot 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 it's an automatic death injection if they screw up. Inside the cast is an injection just waiting to pass sentence. If these two screw up dot dot dial a phone number dot dot and within three rings the subject is dead. Yes, I still dream of hope and change. Makes a lot more sense now, doesn't it? No to anyone who doesn't get the joke and or social media suzerains who think I'm being serious and are about to flag this as fake news, this is sarcasm. So, if it's not socialized medicine or the new world order, what is it? Well, it could be a slowly healing toe. Which would be nothing if it weren't also connected to someone who needs to be helped upstairs, is known for coughing fits, is on blood thinning medication that has had some doctors worried, has taken falls before collapses at memorial ceremonies from overheating. Of course, it's worth noting that the Daily Mail said Hillary appeared to be in rude health during her Vancouver appearance, that actually means fit and energetic in British Argo, providing yet another good reason why we made the right decision back in 1776. Then again, the only thing she's doing nowadays is promoting a rubbish book. She's not leading the free world, which is somewhat more taxing, if my impression of the whole thing is correct. Two months after a minor injury with a nothing schedule and she still has the ankle boot attached. That sounds an awful lot like falling apart, and just picture what would have happened if she had the president's schedule. schedule.